Hello and welcome to Clay Play. My name's Emily and today I'm going to be showing you how to glaze your piece. So to start we just need to get some equipment. Um, today we're going to be using a Abbott's white brush on glaze um, that comes with our Clay Play kits. Um, you'll be needing a wet sponge, a little bit of water and a couple of brushes. With regards to brushes um, I suggest either using a mop top brush which is a really thick bushy brush or a um, thin fan brush. Um, the reason I just suggest that either one of these two is they're both really good at applying an even consistent um, layer of glaze on your piece. So to get started um, you want to make sure that your piece has been bisqued first and that it is nice and clean. So just go through again with a wet sponge, clean it all up. If you do have some bumps that you want to remove off your piece, go through now with a bit of sandpaper and sand off any rough edges and then go through and clean it again with a wet sponge. Now we're ready to start glazing our piece. So um, I've just got a turntable here, um, just makes it easy to be able to turn the piece and hold your brush here to get an even consistent glaze application all the way around. Um, not necessary at all, but just a nice little thing to have. With your glaze, you do want to make sure that it's at a toothpaste consistency. They have a tendency to dry up, um, not to worry at all. You just need to add a little bit more water, give it a good mix, and then apply from there. So this is a little bit thick at the moment, so I'm just going to go ahead, add some water, and give it a good mix. To start with, I'm going to glaze the inside of my vessel. This just makes it easier for me to handle. So taking my mop brush, I'm just going to get a generous amount of glaze onto my brush and then just use strong movements in my vessel and start glazing. If you're finding when you're applying the glaze that it is really thick and hard to move, then go ahead, add a little bit more water to your glaze, give it a mix, and then apply. Now we're going to glaze the outside of our piece. This is where that turntable comes in handy if you have one. I've left my piece to dry for about five minutes now and it's what I would describe as a chalk-like texture to the piece. Here I'm just rubbing it and that just starts to flake off the glaze. So you can go through and smooth out any bumps that you may have. Once tidied up, we can then go through and apply that second coat to the inner and the outer of our piece. Okay, so now that our piece has had a chance to completely dry, um, we're going to go through and just tidy it up a little bit. First things first, if you've got any of those lumps that I mentioned after that first coat, you just want to go through with your finger and just slightly blend it in. You'll just see it kind of um, flake away or disperse as a bit of a chalk-like consistency. Um, if you've got any bubbles, you just want to blend those again with your finger um, all around your vessel. Just spend some time tidying that up. Um, second, you will need to clean the bottom of your piece. Um, when it goes into the kiln, it sits on a shelf. And if there is any glaze on the bottom of your piece, it will stick to that shelf. So we want to make sure that it's completely clean. If you're a little bit concerned, you can even go up around the rim a little bit as well. Okay. 
And there we go. Your piece is now ready to go for a second glaze buyer. Thank you for joining me for this tutorial. If you have any questions, please pop them in the comments below or you can reach us over at clayplay.co.nz.